welcome back guys so in this video let us see how to dual boot peppermint os with windows so let's get started first we will visit this website and peppermint os is based on xfce desktop and debian so click on the download button and we have two options 32 bit or 64 bit so i'm going to download the 64 bit version I'm, I'm using an external download manager to speed up the download process. We need the Rufus program to create the bootable USB. So click on the exe file and download it. Open the program. And uh, we need to select our pen drive. So use a 8 GB or above USB. And then we will select our ISO file that we have downloaded. In the partition scheme i'm going to choose gpt if you want to know yours uh, stay tuned in the later part of the video i will tell you that so now we can start the process and it is going to format all the data on the pen drive i'm sure you already know that and this is going to take a lot of time now right click on the window start menu and open disk management and here we will create a partition for the peppermint os so right click on the d drive and shrink and we need to create at least 20 gb of storage so i'm going to click like uh, choose 40 gb so i will type 40,000 mb and we will have this unallocated space so right click and create a new simple volume then just click next next and finish and you will have a partition for uh, the peppermint os and uh, also right click on the disk 0 and uh, under properties and volume you can see your partition scheme so now while restarting press your bios key and make sure your secure boot is disabled then using the boot key we can select our pen drive from the list and we need to select the first option to start the installation process this will take us to a live preview of the peppermint os so we can check the uh, various elements of the the operating system first before uh, proceeding to install it so this is a live preview of the peppermint os so to begin the installation process we will double click on the installer icon And now we need to select our language and uh, our location so click on next and select your region and uh, add your keyboard layout and here we will select uh, replace a partition to dual boot and after selecting replace a partition we need to choose our partition that we created earlier so you can find it by uh, the size of the partition that you created and uh, it automatically uses the 100 mb windows uh, efi partition so it's going to be set on that now we can click next And here we will add our username and password and now you need to review your settings and click install to start the installation process now the installation has started and you can take a break because it's going to take a lot of time so now it's done so it's already ticked on restart so we will when you click finish it will restart and uh, you can see the dual boot logo and we can select between the peppermint os and windows so we have the peppermint os logo and we are in the peppermint os home screen So you can see the quick toggles 
and I've connected to the Wi-Fi. I've been using it for a while and on the left side you can see the various applications. The interface is not the most uh, beautiful looking but it is very minimal and uh, quite fast and responsive. You can also access all the settings just using the right click. So that is quite nifty. And this is the settings screen. We have the appearance so you can choose various themes and also accent colors so dark theme or light theme we do not see a lot of wallpapers as you can see here we have only four wallpapers to choose from and also they are very basic looking in many other Linux, we see a lot of beautiful collection of wallpapers. So that's not the case here. So that's not the main thing. It is supposed to be really minimal and lightweight. We have other uh, options to customize dock and panels and windows. We can also add external monitor as I have done and it is working quite well. So that was all for the setting part. And we do not see a lot of inbuilt applications. We need to use the terminal to install uh, the third party applications. And navigating around is not very easy. We have uh, apps in different categories, um, but we do not see like built in office app or etc. So, in the task manager, you can see we uh, the CPU uses is pretty low, so it's very lightweight on the resources. I have installed uh, Plasma Discover application to make the installation of different programs easier. You can also install it by running this command and I would suggest you to do that. You can see it's already installed on mine. The file manager is the very basic one that we see in most of the Linux uh, distribution and we can also access the windows partitions um, using the file explorer quite easily so that's a good thing so there are lots of other applications that many of you may find useful so you can explore and test them out but overall it's uh, pretty lightweight and it's mainly aimed for the lower end PCs so if you have a laptop which has uh, low specs you can definitely try this out on that one and it should run pretty fine as it is running on mine now my laptop has a Ryzen 5 2500U which is not the best and the fastest processor it's quite low end and it's working pretty fine with no issues or lags so that was how you can install uh, the Peppermint OS and a quick review of it. So I hope you like this video, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.